You know, I wasn't really expecting to do a Let's Play of this, to be perfectly honest. But fuck it! College is over for a while, and now I got nothing to do, but I gotta record something. I already finished Dead Space a while back, and Ozzyor's Wrath is gonna be on every Sunday, so this is gonna be my main project! With that out of the way, welcome to my new Let's Play! This is Super Mario 3D World, i.e. the sequel to Super Mario 3D Land, but that's pretty obvious. I'm Levi the Oshman, the Amish Gamer. Let's start! Uh, uh, oh, I hate when that always goes to the controller, I can't press start there. As you can plainly see, I've been playing this game quite a lot, and yeah, it, you, you know it's gonna be happening. Go to file 3. This, uh, yes, we know about that. And I will be using, not the gamepad, until I need it, I will be using a Pro Classic controller. Not the Wii U version, but the old Wii one. And Nintendo, it's nice of you to pick Luigi, but I'm not picking him. Okay, basically the characters are simple. Mario is average, Luigi is, well, can jump high, Toad is, or Peach is actually can float in the air, and Toad is really fast. I'm actually going to choose Peach. Yeah. Peach. Let's go. Yes, I pick Peach. <laughs> Graphically, this actually looks really, really well done. It's not like fashion, they get it done. And a shit ton of things pop out. Even a dove. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. See. Speak gibberish, but it looks like Bowser. Of course, Luigi has to be the last one. Yes, Mario, we all know what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is very E for everyone. So, yes, you get the gist of it. Bowser has now kidnapped something else. To be honest, it's not Peach. It's how do you know I'm playing as Peach. And the game's kind enough to tell me that A and B is jump. Yeah, and X and Y on this is actually to run, but that's not as important. Let's go on with the first level. Super Bell Hill. First off, we're gonna come up to a great start. Look at the game. The music's in this like the music in this game is really well done. You see how it has that nice jazzy feel? Oh god, I forgot. Here's the... Okay, besides the music being great, I actually like this power-up, to be honest. Because this power-up... I, I, I'm I sorry, but this power-up is way broken. And I love it so much! But god, this music is really good. But anyways, like I said, Peach can actually, you know, float, which is a very good thing to have. Anyways. Now we can go up. And you notice how in Super Mario 3D Land there were things known as, you know, uh, star coins. Now you gotta collect green stars. As the year of Luigi is well, well known already. Oh god! Oh, Jesus Christ. I actually had that happen. When I first played this game, I dove off the edge. It is not... It is really funny to see me do that. But yes, the cat power-up suit is actually really good. Some people will call this power-up <clears throat> broken. Yeah, 
damage before I receive forward. We gotta look for things. There's like a lot of stuff in this game to look for. Look for. One ups aren't one of them. Actually, the thing is, what you're supposed to look for is down there, and I don't think it's there. So you know what? Killing these things because they can give you cat bells. Me thinks. Gimme. Thank you. Because you hash actually have to go up there. And I'm sorry, the music is really good. I love the music. They knew that jazz people would love this. Anyways, collect the time because you need to catch this bunny. Why? Mega Evolution! Yeah, the, the Mega Peach is actually the best part of this game, to be honest. Or just the Mega Mushroom. Alright, hurry, better hurry. There we go. Now there's a star! And I am missing one important piece. Which is the stamp. Yeah, there are things called stamps in this game. And, and most people are probably going to face palm and say, this, this level's so easy, why did you skip it? Well, I don't know. It didn't cross my mind until now. See, those things up there, those things are called stamps. Because, yeah. Not only do you have to collect green stars, <laughs> but you have to collect at least 85 stamps. Yay! Hooray for collecting things. Collecting things are good and fun and happy and joy joy and all of that good jazz. And look, the, the game expects you to climb all the way up there just to finish the level. You know what? No. I actually have to do it, but no. Catsuit's really broken. <laughs> You see why I chose Peach for this? She actually makes the cat suit look cute, and hello there, Stamp. First Stamp you get, and it's of Mario. And yes, you can actually collect stars. It's kind of like the same thing with Super Mario 3D Land. Instead of star coins, it's star green stars, and you actually need this, these stars in order to... I'm not going to say to progress the game, but I'm going to say, well, yeah, to progress the game, but to add more replayability to the game, which I actually love that a lot. Anyways, let's go to level two. Koopa Trooper Cave. Oh, yeah, and the stamps can do a, a big part of that as well, so yeah. So expect me to actually finish this world soon. And most people don't know how to do that. It's basically your Koopa shell. But it makes you really dizzy. Uh, yeah, why not? We're gonna come flower peach. And the, these pipes are actually really fun to go in. I'm, I'm sorry, they are. Alright, just gonna go up here. And just, uh, you know, do nothing. <laughs> he kicked it. He did it. <laughs> just toss it aside. I really, really don't need it. But I do need to find the stars and stamp, though. Those are important. And I wish I could actually show you more of what this game can actually do. But you have to see what these pipes are actually can actually show much later on. Because if you ha if you just see just that, then yeah, you haven't experienced the full game to its full potential yet, or the Wii U for that matter. Okay, kill the Koopa Troopa. Ha! Nope, die. Mine. Also, they do the same thing they did in Super Mario 3 Land, which is, are those little boxes. Those boxes actually are really fun to play one. No. Down. Oh, Mini Goomba. Goombas. Mini Goombas are stupid as hell. Ah, son of a bitch. Catch him time. Dog. How cute. As soon as I say that, I actually get another one. 
Yay. Oh, down, down. Yay, coins for days. Alright. There's actually something up there, but you need a cat suit. Luckily, I have it. Oh no, maybe not. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm awfully mistaken. Just to kill something down there. And just kill them all with one blow. Okay, I got all the stars, but where's the stamp? Don't tell me I missed the stamp. Or it's probably. Oh, I don't know where it's at. There it is! Yay! Found the stamp. A little secret goodie can make this game a lot worthwhile. So, everyone, if you want something good for the Wii U, get this game. This game's really fun. Just say, um, you know, we'll caution later on, because most people are like, oh no, this game sucks, uh, Wii U sucks in general. You're ungodly mistaken. I have no it's like, for this game, you don't know what to talk about. Because this game is really good. Some people think that the Wii U has shitty games. No. Play them, like, if you actually rent, have a Wii U and you need, want to rent a game, rent this one. Because this game's really enjoyable. Anyways, moving onward. <clears throat> Anyways, I, I might as well just show the map and this. Not only do you have to collect stamps and stars, but you have to also have to get up, up, like, reach the top of the flagpole. And you notice the little toad thing there, but I'll explain that later. And we're coming across a boss, mini boss battle, actually. The Chucking Chuck, or Charging Chuck Brigade, or Blockade. Nope. Yeah, these characters, they're, they're the characters from Super Mario World, where you have to hit them on top of the head in order to, you know, kill them. Nice. Easy with the cat suit. Oh, she didn't meow. That sucks. Alright, next. I, I don't know what they call this episode either. I really want to think of one, but I just don't know. I could just say World 1, but that's what that is. World 1. But you know what? I might as well show this level, but there's one problem. <clears throat> Since I'm not using the Wii U pad, I have to use it. So yeah. Expect to see a lot of these for a while. There we go. Now I'm using the Wii U, uh, Wii U pad game pad. I like the gamepad, but I really don't in some ex aspects. But I'm, I don't know. As you can see, we are now playing as Captain Toad. And look how look let's look look, look at this. Oh, oh, Captain Toad, the fearless hunter of Green Stars, ready for adventure. Yeah, now you have to guide him without jumping, just to find all five stars. And yeah, you can move the camera or tilting it. So yeah, he can't jump. Yeah, I already said that. But look, wee, 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 wee. I'm using it. Oh, I gotta get get back on course. I actually like. I don't understand why you have to use the gamepad that only. I I find that to be incredibly dumb. I'm sorry. Why can't you just use the um, you know, gamepad? Like like use a classic controller. I mean, that would make a whole lot of sense, because you're using a right stick. But no, the game actually requires you to do it. Well, it's not bad, because a lot of games actually feel really well in the thing. Oh, that's why. Get the blow. What? Can't blow very well, buddy. Oh, I could just go in the other way. Oh yeah, if you get hit once, you're dead. Anyways. I'm gonna blow again. There we go. Done. Now we can actually proceed to get the last star. And done! Yay! Yay! The funny thing behind that, these contribute to your green star total. So if you're trying to proceed through the game, 
and you need at least five more stars, or at least three, this will help a lot. Who knows, you can actually use this in single player mode. Yes, we know this, but I'm not going to use this controller. Because I just don't like the feel of it sometimes. I'm just going to go back to using this one. There. Much better. Sorry, but I just like using the classic control a little bit better. Anyways, now we're going to go to Mount Beanpole. Nice little tribute to Bean Bean Kingdom. But this music is actually so divine. Angry Star! I love having the cat power. Oh yeah, see? This actually is... Oh, there's a stamp. I can use that. Yes, it's so good. Oh god damn it! Oh god no! I forgot why I don't like the cat suit in a way, because you can dive off your head. Son of a bitch! Oh great, we're off to a great start when I'm cussing in a kid's game. <laughs> if you cuss in a kid's game, you have no soul. Yay! Thank you, get another cat suit, I need that. No. I was trying to do this. The one of it didn't work. And I felt my death. <gasps> I actually need to go into that pipe. That pipe's very important. There's another way to get stars. Oh. Ooh. Blue coins! From Mario 64. That contributed a long way to the Mario games. Okay, put that there. And good thing I have a cat suit too, because if I didn't, I would be screwed. Yay! Star! It's a star! Yay! Star! For days. Right, time to get this, this little stamp. Ah! Gimme! Apparently they didn't want to give it to me. Ah! And they finally give me a bell, but I don't need one. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna go that way. Yay! I really need that area to begin with. <laughs> and also I found out this game has multiplayer, but I don't really seem to use multiplayer all that much. For a game like this, I really don't think so. But they did anyway. And some people tell me that multiplayer is really good. Which I don't really know, because I can't say it. Anyways. We're in Cloud World again. No, I don't know why. I can't say again, but Cloud World. This time you can actually boost. I look like a kitty doing so. Yay! Free way to get a one up. A green star! Wow. I actually can do that. That's nice, actually. That's a good talent. Ha! Really good advantage to having Peach. Come on, Piranha Plant. Nope. Try again. You didn't try hard enough. Alright, time to proceed. We got everything in this level again, and... No. Yes, because... A bell. You see, this is another reason. You can actually run up the flagpole with this. It's... It's a cheap way to get across in the game, but it's really cute. So cute! There's a Goomba with a cat. There's a cat Goomba. Or a Koomba. Goomba, yeah. Yay. You know, I, 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 there's like a little thing I have to confess. Oh, just so you know. You can open- Yes! 
Because the, now Nintendo's pulling the dumbest thing in the world by using an electronic manual. Luckily, then again, a lot of games are doing that, and I kind of don't like that. I mean, sure, it's nice to, like, have less room, but I actually like the instruction manuals. That's why I love them. <sighs> but anyways, to be honest, I actually did not want to do this game for a while, until I started playing it a little bit more and started 100%ing most of the parts of the game. But, I figured, why not? Let's just do it. Let's jump in. I need to do a Wii U project. Anyway, Switch Scrambles Circus. This music. You know, I really like this music. I I'm sorry. Sure, it's cartoony, but it's really fun to listen to. It's really fun to listen to. This is the reason why Mario games are really good, because they can... Sure, they can actually make really good kids' music games. Like, kid... Hold on. Good music for kids' games. For any game, for that matter. But... They have variety. That's a good thing. If you have multiple variety, that's good. It's good to have a multiple variety, which some people hate about Nintendo for doing this, but I don't. It makes it makes them more more refined, actually. More refined as a studio and a developer. Which God bless the uh, composer that made this the music for this game. I don't know the name who did it. But I need to look them up. Because some of the music is jazzy and, well, like I said, fun. It's sometimes soothing to listen to, actually. Some people will disagree entirely, but it is what it is. It's nice, jazzy, and has a really good feel to it. Plus, some of it makes it sound like you're actually in a circus, in a sense. Alright, time to get the last of the coins. And, well, I don't really need that power, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, I'm looking for a star. Which... It's usually around here somewhere. There it is. And yeah, it will give you another power-up, but I don't want the Fire Flower. I'd rather have a cat suit in my inventory. Oh crap, Koopa. Magic Koopa. Star there at least. In time. God damn it! Die. Uh, well, see why the cat suit's better. Hey, wait, am I done? Where's the stamp? It has to be a stamp around here somewhere. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, I see a stamp. Oh, you, you tease me. There. Stamp! Yay! Stamp! This game's music is so fun to listen to. Now I was gonna say, not once did I die. Yeah, that was a mistake. I've already died. On an easy stage, too, for my stupidity. Alright, that just leads us straight to Bowser's castle, but if you don't collect stars, this is why. You see that door right there? You have to have ten of them in order to proceed. If you didn't have ten of them, you're kinda boned. And now we're gonna go to Plessy's Plunging Falls. This level you can actually, you have to come back on. You have to. Here's Plessy. Hop on Plessy, head for the goal. Speed up by using left stick. Jump by using B or two. Playing with friends, it's kind of difficult. I haven't done play with friends. But thank God they actually can bring back some of the music that we love. Like the music from Mario 64. Ha! Got the star. 
now, 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 now. I'm gonna go in here. This music's so good. I don't know if I can contain myself. All oh, this music, Mr. One Up. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Alright, for this, you have to be really cautious. Yeah, and I missed something in there too. Well, I have to go back to get. Wait. Yeah, be careful. There we go. Slowing down speed. You have to be careful for it. And yeah, I think I already missed the star. So I have to come back later. I think I might as well just come back and, you know, do something about that. Wee! Star! Star, multiple coins, yay! So I did miss a star. And he waved. Daw. It's really cute when there's something does that. Like, bye, Plessy. We'll see you again soon. Eventually. Ha! Ah! Oh, we shot it too. Damn it! I never that. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, this is this is a really good game. I will say that. And there's Plessy. I think Plessy was m mentioned in the game, but I don't know when, like where. But because of that, I have to go back to get it. And we actually completed everything. Which means there's a casino, but I'll explain that. I'll explain it after I do this. So I'm gonna go back to get that star. Got it! Got that too! Alright, now we've got that star out the way, and Mario pixelated himself, actually said saving. We're actually gonna go see that casino right now. Well, it's not really much of a casino, it's more like a slot machine. Looks like a casino. Uh, hail the blocks. You can also win up to 777 coins. You add extra life every time. So you can actually potentially get about 8 lives. And I only got 200 coins, so. Yay! Two up! Yay! Just. Tw <laughs> Just twirling around like a ballerina. Yeah, everyone's probably gonna be mad at me for making a really long intro video, but I'm sorry, it's the first world. You have to do it. All right, now we're gonna move on to the. Sh we're actually gonna conclude the video after I beat the first castle. If you know, it's funny. Because usually I see Mario going to the castle. Now it's usually Peach. Now it's Peach. Cat bomb. Damn it. I'm trying to kick. Yeah, I was trying to kick that, but it didn't work. Anyways, time to find it. Actually, I think yeah, everything is easy to find in this too. Ah, damn it! What the cat suit? Got a green star, but I need a cat suit. Go away! Go away! Do I? Stupid Goombas. Anyways, now we need a bomb. Because, uh, um, well, for one. Get away. Thank you. Because, that's why. Sam! For days! You know, you have to, you have to bring that up all the way up there, because you can actually get another green star. And multiple one-ups while I'm at it. Green star gods! Yay! And the last green star is right there. That, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get all stars in World 1. You see how good I am for this game? You see how good I am? And yeah, you can actually use a bomb, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna cheat the system. I don't want you to be no bomb, no system! Cheat the system! That's how video games are made. You can actually cheat the system. And... Huh. I think Bowser was tired that he got last place in Mario Kart. Yeah, he's pissed at... He's really, really pissed at that. 
Bah! Yeah, fuck. Yeah, Bowser, your your car is really well done. And do I see do I see a one up over there? No, that's it's for Koopa. <laughs> and you see, with the cat suit, it's really easy to beat this boss. Watch and learn. Oh shit! You actually gonna now he's gonna do something new. And it wasn't well done. Of. Sorry, Bowser, but, um... Your ride sucks. <laughs> He's visual so good on HD. And get more coins, just because we're... It's because we're... We're good that way. And I was afraid to fall the fuck. But yeah, we can actually get more time. That means more points. And that's actually a, well, the new thing that Bowser's kidnapped. It's not Peach. There's those little things called, those little things right there, those are called Sprixies. I don't know why they're called Sprixies, but we'll find out after we free it. In the same fashion of... In the same fashion of Super Mario 3D Land, you actually run around and jump. Yay! And there was Bowser. Pesky Bowser, indeed. As to these things being called Sprixies, I have no idea. Hmm. But their power is really interesting. See, they wave their tool around, and then it turns white, and then there's a mysterious clear pipe. That's pretty much their, their bag. That's their, 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 their little jig. Also, we're gonna go in here. Because, if you listen closely. Welcome to a Toad House! Come on, Boston, its contents will help you on your way! Yay! I normally go for cat suits. Screw the flower. But thank you, Toad House. And because of that... Because of that little thing that we just did, we can never go back in. So Toad's gonna be in there, alone, for the rest of his life. Well, let's just go into this pipe. And there's another castle made out of sand! Where's that bricks? I don't know. But, yeah, you get the gist of this game. It's basically kind of like, it's, well, I can't say kinda, it is a whole lot. Like Mario 3D Land, with a better overworld, more collectibles, and almost has the same gameplay as Super Mario Bros. 2. If people don't know what I mean by that, then you, you haven't lived. But I will stop it here. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario 3D World, we will continue on to World 2. Sorry for the video being really, really long, but I really had to make a video. I'm sorry. So until I meet again, this has been Love You to Ashman, the Amish Gamer. Keep it Amish one else, so goodbye for what I'll do. But most importantly, is I will see you in the next part of this great game. Ta-ta!